Today on Out and About in Simcoe County, we are taking the road less traveled. That road happens to be underneath a highway. You highway 400, the traffic. right? No, this is actually Highway 34. Really? Yes. I have no idea where we are. This is why we're driving. In the fields, she can find anything. Up yes. on the road. Forget about uh, it. I'm completely lost. We don't put her behind the wheel. So we've got all sorts of habitat around here. We're going to go looking for snakes, snake hook. We've got lots of insects that we saw earlier. Yeah. And nope. we're going to be just looking around for anything. One of the great things is now that I'm an adult, I can pull over anywhere I want. And if I want to say, hey, I'm going to go check out that little pond there, I can. Dad, you never let me do this when I was a kid. I'm going to get in as much as I can now. All right, let's go see what we can find. Whoa. You hear that? Huh. You finally hear a frog, and he's safely out in the middle. There he is. About he should be interested. That far? A little farther. Of course he is. And then he's to your left about a little more and straight down. Ooh, ah, damn it, I see it, I see it. Dirty. Oh, he's a smart frog. No, you're just a dumb catcher. <laughs> he ran across the water. <laughs> he did, he skipped like a stone. That was hilarious. All right. Throw me my snake stick, will you please? That was a good toss. All right, keep an eye on him. It's gonna get a little squishy. It's never dull around you, is it, Chris? It is definitely thick in here. You people at home, if you decide to do this, you might not wear, want to wear your best clothing or your best shoes or boots. A good that's pair of makes, rubber boots. That's what makes these my best shoes. I can go swamping in them. Well, Sorry, I guess Walmart. it depends on what you think, you know, best is. I'm not going clubbing after this. No. Here's a rule. If you're one of those people who wears your hiking boots into the bar, please don't watch our show. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. It gets a little decent. I can start to feel it coming through my... Oh, I found a woolly bear caterpillar. Oh, whoopity do! I'm up to my knees in muck and you found a caterpillar. Yeah, but mine's cute. And you caught him. And I caught him. I can't He's believe that chubby curled himself frog up. Right Is that the, the breed name, species name? Chubby skipping frog? There's our we'll little skip. These guys are called woolly bear caterpillars. And it's uh, an old wives' tale that you could tell what kind of next year's spring, summer, and winter is going to be like. This is winter here to spring. This is how long the summer is going to be. So it looks like it'll be a nice long summer and then the end of the season for winter again. So it'll be a fairly short winter this year. So I'll find out if this caterpillar is indeed correct and psychic in its furriness. We'll have to wait a year. And if it's wrong, I don't think I'll get my money back. We'll just put him back down here. Probably not, you know, near the chipmunk hole will he get eaten. Oh, he's all uncurled now. Isn't he cute? How could you not love that little face? Oh my God. There. Oh. So, well, yeah. it looks like a long winter actually, now that he's uncurled. Long winter and a brief hot summer. I think it's a farmer's almanac actually told me about that. Yes, I used to read the farmer's almanac. I was a very nerdy child. Now he's all yeah. stuck on me. He won't get... Oh. Awesome. 
That chubby frog outwitted me. I think that reed outwitted you. No, this one's sunk down. Little known fact, Reed is actually well, Chris's middle name. I'm in here now. I am committed officially. Yeah, you might as well just traipse through there up to your... Well, don't get the microphone wet. No, no. You're going to be fun to drive home with. <laughs> How does the bottom feel? <laughs> it feels um, unending. Therapeutic? Ugh, it's got me. The How come you always small. end up like up to your shins in muck? Here, take. I'm not coming out there. This. Really? See? Much better catch than he is. My impeccable note keeping <sighs> is now swamp letters. Ah, swamp letters. It's up here. If I go past my waist, I've got bigger problems. Yeah, because he will not be able to get out if he goes above his waist. But he gets into that muck. It creates kind of a suction. So he's fighting that every our, ounce of the uh, way to get. Our net. What did you do to it? You killed our net. Netricide. Here, do you want why don't I take those? Well, this doesn't work very well. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done with you, frog. I think it's safe to say you've scared everything that's in this area. I think they're just out of reach laughing at me. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Neither, neither, neither. I'm coming out now. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Well, odd how it falls off right there. Yeah, right, right where you fell. I stepped on the lilies on the way in, but once that log gave up, it took me with it. Your feet are big, but they're not lily trotter big. So, <laughs> this is what you can expect when you go off-roading. Some people take ATVs, I take my feet. We found a frog. Oh, you smell so bad. <laughs> there is an, uh, an aroma that comes from swamping. Yes. Swamping. Swamping. Oh, you should put your hand in there and do some noodling. No? There's no catfish in no, there. No, there's no catfish in there? There might be. Anything that I could grab that would bite my hand, I don't want to bite my hand. That's true. All right, let's go see if we can get you disgusting somewhere else. For you people, you do this for you. <laughs> All right, I'm great too. <laughs> you, Mom, I learned it from you. You. Want a net? No. This one is a hands on. You're in trouble, Boyle. Boop, boop. Ha! Hands win every time. Hands win. Your net loses my hands win. Frog. Let me get my chart. Yeah, get your chart out. Look at him. He's looking at us again, that, that crafty frog. He's down at the end of the reed, watching Chris again going neener, neener. Wait until I got out of the bed, out of the swamp. OK. <sighs> Pretty sure this one's a green frog. Well, we'll take a photo and ID him when we get home as well. All right. Because he's a green frog. See how creative so. these people are when they name these things? Yeah. Not this one. That's a bullfrog. He is this one. You guys see what we see? A captured frog. All right. Let's let's give our captured frog friend. You go a hand. back and tell your friends. We were just playing a game. Here you go, dude. Back in the water where you belong. Do you see him? Yeah, I see him. This is, I'm going to have to do a scoop. Yeah, good luck with that. 
Oh, got him. He's a giant. Did you? You got him? I would like to hear apologies all the way around for this fantastic catch. Epic. I'm going to try to do a double fister here. I could do a triple fister right now, actually. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at you, my giant friend. Oh. So we figured out our limitations for this net. Oh, look at him. He's a climber, too. Look at the size of him. That is what makes an impressive frog. On land, in water, climbing up a net. If you were the kind that eat frog legs, this would be your ideal specimen. But we don't do that. Raccoons, snakes. Oh, look at them. Look at them snakes. That is just an impressive frog. He's beautiful, but not as beautiful as my two boys. Hi, guys. Are they just surrendering over there? What is happening? They like the ladies. That's what the croaking is all about. They also appear to be green frogs. Yeah, but they're much smaller. Yeah. Which is funny because this guy might actually eat, eat them. small ones. Yeah. No wonder they jumped out of the net so fast. They thought it was the... Uh, it's got Coliseum. Andre the Giant in there. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Aren't they pretty? That is a nice Look at frog. the colors. And then this poor guy down here, he's like, what the what? This one is at least a couple years old. Yeah. Thought that was coming right for you guys on at home, huh? Yep. 3D film on Rogers. You said these guys can actually live for quite a while. Several years. This one, I was making a break, and I got this. Technique. Slow, slow, fast. Bleep. So this is probably early tadpoles from this season turned into, but the, even the tadpoles can overwinter. Yes. So they can have a many year lifespan, assuming they don't get caught by people, birds, snakes, bigger frogs, raccoons, skunks would eat them, cats, there's lots of cats up here as well. So what's a group of frogs called? A chorus? I think it's a chorus of frogs. That I don't know. So we're not hurting these guys. This is just a nice soft net. It won't hurt their skin. And yeah, and we're having them out for less than five minutes each. Yep, way less, actually. Now and we don't handle them very much with our hands for the initial capture, yes. But once they're caught, we put them in here where the net is already wet. They're so. amphibians. They need to stay moist. Yep. Unlike reptiles, reptiles are waterproof with their scales. Amphibians breathe through their mouth with the air and their skin, which is why when water places like this get polluted, this one actually looks pretty clean. We didn't see a lot of plastic and garbage in it. So any pesticide runoff that comes in here is going to affect the development of the tadpoles, whether the eggs can actually develop into tadpoles, and the frogs themselves. They get the poisons in through their skin when they absorb it, and they are an indicator species, which means if things are bad in the environment, you will see it in the frogs. So we will put those ones back, let them go back to their life, and you'll hear the big male there will make a bunch of croaking noises to reestablish his territory now that he's been out of it, even for five minutes. Let the ladies know he survived that horrendous experience. He's going <laughs> to blow it up later on. They were 20 feet tall. It took us a little while to get into the capture mode. Look how bronze he is, eh? Some really nice colors. Yeah. He's much more bronze than the one that I caught. The one I caught was more green. And that's a but good sign. They're both green frogs. This one's just brown. Hey. Can I right hold that up again? Oops. Nope. Never mind. Oh, yeah. 
had was some, an adventure, eh? Yeah, we had some great sweaty, mucky fun here. We? We? We were frog bogging. Well, you did really well without getting muddy and without the net, so I think you actually won that one. That's from years and years of training as a child. And I need a better net. Yeah, we need a better net. All we right. need a bigger boat. Let's go try. Oh, and there's the birds again, too. I that, a that's a loon. Well. So this is a really good spot. Up. Yeah. This Loons would eat frogs. Come. Right up the northern part of Simcoe. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go take a look and see what else we can find. You ready? Yep. I'm still looking for snakes. It's a beautiful day. Let's see what we can find. I'm looking for anything. This is a beautiful section. We had to pull over on the side of the road just for this. There's a nice river going through. You can tell it's been developed a little bit and somebody had to drill right through that. Do you know what's even more effective than big machines that we make? Moss. Moss and fungus. They can live for millions of years. Moss has been around 450 million years. It's been through five mass extinctions. It's still going on. Moss will eat a mountain, and when it's down to boulders, it will eat the boulders. That's how good this stuff is at decomposing everything. It lives on things from rocks to plants to human bones. Whatever it comes across, it will break down, return it into the ecosystem, and provide a new healthy ecosystem. And it is always working. It can survive ice ages. It can go dormant and last a thousand years. And there are many, many different types. We're going to see over on the rocks here. You can see there's white, there's green, uh, and it's different for the stuff that's on the trees and the rocks, but some of them cross over and can eat anything. You've got this thicker stuff in here. Look at that. It's just lying down like a blanket. And each of these is all woven together, and all it needs is a little bit of water, like this thing down here. So when it rains, it starts up again and it can start to break down the rock. Living along the side of a river, these things don't have a plan. They don't go out and hunt. Wherever they end up, that's what they start to eat. Extremely successful. Moss is the master of this entire planet. Without moss, we wouldn't recognize anything. None of this stuff would be here. You know what? I am severely thinking about polluting my brand new shoes right now because I really want this turtle. That, I threw my wallet in, so I'm uh, good. No, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm taking this. I am taking off the microphone. This is the big, I want to catch a turtle. I'm going to do this, keeping socks on though. Just stay there, please. I know where the turtle is and you don't. Yeah. Oh. Don't move, Chris. I'm not. I'm sliding. <laughs> Can you pass me the net, please, Chris? Thank you. There's, it's going to drip. Out, it might be a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Turtle. 
without a net. That's it. I'm out. I'm retiring. Not even on top. Look at us. We look quite the pair, eh? It's about time you got as wet as I did here. <laughs> Although every time you end up getting wet in the water... I'm successful? You were successful. No. I think it's a northern... Is it a northern map turtle? It might be. As I looked at the back... Yeah, because it's got the yellow yeah, spot on the ear. It's got all the ridges. Yep. Although it's got more of a spike up the back mm -hmm. than I'm used to. But yes, and that's why they call it a map turtle, because of all those little things on the back. You could tell by the ridges along the back as well. If you want to hear the uh, technical sounding terms, these striations look like the topographical lines on a map. Do you want to hear that turtle? Do you want to hear that? Do you like, want no, to hear I want that? to get back to the water. Now this is probably last year's baby because it is way too big for something that just hatched out in the last two months. And he's very cute. It is, I would say, a girl. You've got yeah. no real curve on the shell and a tiny little tail. Excellent. Girls are good. And the sex of these is determined by how warm the eggs are incubated at. So really cool temperatures, cool for their range, would be more boys. In the middle, it's going to be both sexes. And when it's warmer, it's girls. So last season, it was kind of hot. So there would have been more girls, actually. But who knows? I mean, it had to go for an entire year to survive to get this big. And map turtles can live to be 30 years old, 40 years old. Yeah, she's of special concern. She's not endangered, but special concern. So and got all the lines along the side, which yep. they're very similar to other turtles. A lot but of the coloration are. is slightly different. This one's got the swirls and whirls, and this one definitely has the swirls and whirls. And some of them, these ones are more uh, rounded shell, and they don't. None of them, except this one, well, and the snapping turtle, have the little. Yeah, everybody little worries about it being a snapping turtle. She looks nothing like a snapping turtle. This little head wouldn't be able to bite you at all. And the tail isn't long with the spikes on the end. Oh, she could, she could bite. It wouldn't hurt, yeah, it wouldn't hurt much. you. At this size, she would be eating uh, all the little dragonfly nymphs, the mosquito larva, yeah. uh, other tadpoles, the little small fish. frogs, little fish. Yeah, we saw some yeah. of the fish. All right, all you right, caught you her. Let her go? You, well, you, you caught her. You might no, as well. You can let her go. I'll let you let Did her go. Did we get a I picture had so we can ID it? I think that's a good idea. Let me get one with the camera, and we'll also get one with the phone. OntarioNature.org and Reptiles and Amphibians of Ontario Atlas. Everybody wants to know where the reptiles and amphibians are, and if you can help, if your adventure can actually go online, and you'll get feedback from people as well. Of course, we'd like feedback. If you want to join us on Out and About in Simcoe County on Facebook, you can share your stories as well. Certainly let us know if you think there's an area around that we should cover, let us know. Next season, it's going to be just around the corner. It seems like we just started season two, eh? I know. And I can't believe it's over. This is our last episode, but you're going to be able to see us all winter long. Time to let her go. You ready? I'll hang on to this. You caught her. You can let her go. No, you go ahead. You know what? I uh, caught her. You're going to let you me have ahead. some fun. I'm giving you a sympathy, a sympathy release. You think I can't screw this up, right? Thanks All for right. joining us this week. Right down to the bottom. Zip. Safest spot. And they need to come up, especially when they're that young. Look at her go, eh? <sighs> Nicely done. Nicely done. It's all thanks to me, of course. I was here in spirit. It's a good thing you're good looking. <laughs>